Jared Neiman is here on 92.5 XTU, and I got to tell you, I remember listening to your record a few years ago. First one ever came out, and I'm like, this guy's really good. You have taken it to the next level, and I'm, I'm proud of that, and I'm proud of you for, for doing that. Well, buddy, though, that means a lot. Ever since we were at Poconos out there, you know, I got to tell you, it was uh, I had a good time. I always had a great time chatting with you, and, and, and that means a lot. Thank you. Well, I'll drink to that all well, night. What, what you got there? Jesse James, who used to be in this band called Jackal, has a bourbon company, and he's giving out free samples over there. Well, I'll be. I'll be, Rex. <laughs> uh, what the heck is that? Is that real or am I hallucinating? There is a large Twinkie There's a human... standing in front of this table, and I'm not sure if it's real. I'm not. What, what is in that drink again? Because that... I'm not sure if that's real either, but I've never seen a Twinkie that big. This is the most bizarre scene happening. And it's in, in a cowboy hat. Table, table right now. Yeah, there's a Twinkie and a cowboy hat and a so, sash. So, Jared Neiman, is it true that when you went to Las Vegas this year, you were actually seeing large Twinkies? Yeah, whatever. I'm not sure what's in this, uh, the water here, but, yeah, there's a – what? what is that? That's a large Twinkie. Uh, you don't hear that every day. <laughs> so – you don't stop making music. It goes on all the time for you, right? Well, I, I try. I try. I have a, you know, a, a room in my basement that I record in, and then uh, we take the tracks to the studio and usually upgrade them and replace them and make them better. But I always get in there and have fun, and I just, I just love it, you know. So I try. I try. On the last album, when you did, um, is it "Don't Stop the Music" with all the different uh, "Free the Music," "Free the Music," and you had horns and tubas and. I don't know if you were playing garbage cans in that thing, but like it sounded like every instrument was on that song. And I, I envisioned you with your buddies and your musician friends just going wild in the studio to do that stuff. We did, and I'll tell you, the, the most exciting thing about that album was uh, what spawned from it was a new a, a new foundation. I started called Free the Music USA, where right. we're actually collecting instruments, fixing them up, and getting them in the hands of kids. So, that's uh, awesome, because so, the government's you know, not giving those programs anymore. Yeah, and that's the thing. is you know, I'm, It's weird how... All the things that actually keep kids out of trouble are going away, you know. Yeah. So whether it's sports or music or whatever, we just got to have something in their lives to look forward to. And so I, I'm uh, just trying to, you know, I'm, I'm getting in this. You know, it's my first time to be involved in any sort of charity, and, and so I'm, it's a learning situation for me. But I'm very excited to, to definitely, uh, hopefully, change some kids' lives. That's an awesome thing for you to say. And you, and you know what else is, is must be very exciting for you is on a personal note is you're really close friends with Lee Bryce and all of these guys that you started coming up with that you played clubs with are now all of a sudden becoming nominated for Male Vocalist of the Year. And, and to know that your buddies and you shared this dream and you're all coming up together and now it seems to be paying off your labors, uh, it's got to be exciting for you guys and your friends. And, and, you, it's so, my, and I'm so lucky to have buddies that are so talented and passionate about music and also so loyal you know we have each other's backs and uh we sit around nashville for years hoping that we get the opportunity to to make some music that people cared about and you, like i said you never know you never know what's going to happen and, and if it weren't for you know having friends like you that that crank it up across the great cities like philly and and uh spread the word you know no one no one would care no one would know and so just thanks for having our back well buddy. it is all about the music it is always about the music congratulations yes. on this song it looks like if the mathematics works out right who knew we would use math in country music it looks like you may have a number one record here and i hope that happens well you know you. what I'm, it's uh you never you do you never know but it, we're gonna definitely try to keep uh raising our glass in the air and hope everybody keeps turning it up and and like i said can't do it without everybody out there and and uh Really, really do once again. Thanks me, for having me. Give me back. 20 seconds on what Brad Paisley has helped you do in the last four or five years. You know, Brad is one of those guys you just want on your side in many ways. The coolest thing about Brad is not what you see even on stage, which is amazing. Right. The best thing about Brad is what's behind the curtain. So he's a brilliant guy, huge heart, and uh, great talent, and lucky to lucky to have him on my side. And he sure. loves all kinds of music. He does. He's just a no, a ridiculous everything. talent. Ridiculous talent. It's Jared Neiman here at 92.5 XTU. Thanks for spending a couple minutes with me, Stacey. Enjoy. Always great to see you. All right.